r slash ask reddit. Leak apprehensive 2789 says. People of reddit, whether it's you or someone else, what is your strangest experience with public nudity? God of puddings says. Brit here. Had a mate whose mum was French, they would spend holidays over there with relatives. When we were about 14 over 15 he invited me to go with them one summer. The weather was amazing, and his mum spent most of the time in the garden naked, and he was mortified. I didn't mind. Velzenal666 says. Until his dad walked out. Glad Bluebird3813 says. Of course you didn't. Old Length 1272 says. I've encountered people having sex in different public locations. I just felt a little awkward, but moved on with my day. IDK I wouldn't do that, but to each their own. LOL. Biscuit says. Just go casually sit down next to them, or walk up, and ask them for directions. Katon Slayer DI says. Lmeo that would be so funny. The infamous Gmoni says. Saw an old man walking around a store I was working at with his dick out. Not a fan of it, but won some money on a bet about it. Love boobs in DM says. Please elaborate on the nature of the bet. Feral 2000 says. Walter White having a fugue state. Thin Contribution 160 says. I worked at a pizza place for a bit, and a homeless guy came and took his order, and told him owed amount. He very slowly counted his money, and dropped his quarter. I told him, to not worry about the coin I'll make up whatever he didn't have. Nope he quietly bent over to pick it up, but acted like a girl learning how to pick stuff up with super long nails, and couldn't scoop it up. I spoke up again, and told him not to worry about it, and he didn't budge kept trying. It was the middle of rush hour, but I had never met this homeless person before, so I didn't know how to talk to him without knowing if he gets aggressive. So I gave him a second, but then his pants dropped underwear and all. Didn't stop him from picking up his quarter kept going even with his thing hanging all out bent over. I called the assistant manager over he had no clue what to do to all of us were stunned. We even offered to just give him the pizza we will deal with the GMS pussy attitude later about giving it for free. But he didn't want to give up on that quarter. He got it after a few minutes, but he even took the time to give me a sticker off the floor, so he paid his debt for his pizza. Darth Kitty 911 says. Now that's dedication. What Stephen C says. You mean other than being caught, having sex in public? In the mid 1990s there was a 30 ish year old man walking naked through the German city of Bad Oenhausen quite regularly. Hiking boots, backpack and... No, nothing else, just hiking boots and backpack. He was a bit part of the landscape. There is no law forbidding you to be naked in Germany, the police only acts if someone complains, I guess that's the reason for the backpack. He probably had a set of clothes in it. I must have seen him a hundred times and my girlfriend and all the other girls agreed that he was. Spectacular of sorts, oh. Spasser man with says. Mine wasn't too strange I think, but I was at this party and these two chicks not bad looking, took their tops off, and let people do shots out their belly buttons and let people lick their nipples. And to hella gross big guys smell like bow and chain smoking cigarettes take their turn. Then the girls recognize me, and told me to go next. I swear I only did a small shot, no nipple licking. And felt still, frick, I'm gross following after those two. Darth Kitty 911 says. I feel sorry for your ruined experience, peace be with you. Duvorst says. Told me to go next no thanks. Inevitable Toe 745 says. There was a naked drunk girl riding a car like a surfboard the wrong way up Elm Street in Dallas one time. Driver realized the mistake and tried to back into a pair lot to turn around. When everyone rounded the corner she had passed out on the roof. That one was memorable. 
Love boobs in DM says. Crazy topless lady walking down the street shouting at everything and everyone in the middle of London. Not Muriel Farkhandel says. My dog got super excited near the beach and ran down a cliff face. I saw her from above on the beach and couldn't see an alternative other than following. Climbed down the cliff, jumped down the last 10 feet or so and ate shit on the rocks. Got up, scraped and bleeding to find an old naked hippie angrily playing bongos in my direction, disapproving of my trek down. Got the dog, went around the bend, and found the staircase I should've gone down in the first place. Weird day at Ocean Beach in San Francisco. God Soldier says. To have a naked man pop out playing bongos every time I eat dirt would be borderline a superpower. Wicked Googly says. I was in India back in 05, staying in a ramble, in Goa, for a bit. I was walking down the beach in the morning, no one else in sight. A naked Indian man came out of the palm trees holding a large snake by the tail. He walked into the ocean and set it in. Then just walked back into the palm trees. Never acknowledged me. I didn't swim in the ocean again. Interesting assist 707 says. I live in a city with a huge drug problem, and I was at a shop as drug mart and a guy fully nude ran, in cut a hole in the bottom of the yellow M&M on the M&M stand and started, frick, I knew it. Neanderthal21 says. Naked jogger, 60 ish plus y slash oh man, near a river swimming spot we went to as teenagers. Spirited Limit 9071 says. Got on a free ferris wheel at a music festival with my partner. A run can women in a trench coat got on the other side of the cabin thing. She has a blank starter backpack and a trench coat. The trench came off, and a rolled film camera came out, and she started taking selfies fully naked across from us. She was holding the camera lens staring straight up her unshaven vagina along with a few other angles until it stopped. People were laughing from below who had seen it. The ferris wheel stopped she still said nothing put her coat on, and walked off into the festival. Pedantic Parker says. I had to run buck naked, and dripping wet through three and one half feet of snow uphill around from the backside of a house to the front door in broad daylight, because my gf, and I were skinny dipping in the hot tub at her family's cabin in the mountains and I accidentally locked the back door with our clothes and towels inside. Traditional Mud 163 says. Naked old wizard reading tarot cards at the beach. Munchin and Crunchin says. I ran out of the air in nothing but an open gown and boots after suffering a head injury. I told my BF there was no need for clothes before I get a cigarette. He said someone might try to kidnap me were in a notorious area. I replied well, they'll definitely have a cigarette god bless him dealing with me. My water Steffel nude says. I've caught people having sex and other people changing, while I was hiking different times. That's Fever B says. New an EMT, that got called out to a nudist camp for someone with a broken ankle. He said that him, and his partner were the only two people wearing clothes. He also said the types of people who go to nudist camps are not the types of people you want to see naked. MC such and such says. Two instances come to mind. The first one was me and my at the time wife were in South Carolina for a wedding and staying at a hotel. Our last night there, we decided to go out to eat, get on the elevator, hit the button to close the door, and, all of a sudden, the door to the stairway, which was directly across from the elevator, swings open and this naked guy hauls ass into the elevator with his with arm full of clothes, gasping for breath and telling us to hit the button for the second floor. We figured he was having a rendezvous with someone, and got caught in the act, but... didn't ask. The second one happened at a tuck stop in Texas. I was sitting in the dining area waiting on my truck, to get refueled and this naked woman walked in, walked over to the counter, picked up a box of condoms, paid for them, smiled and waved at everyone and walked out. Admittedly, you do see some weird stuff at truck, stops late at night, 
however, what made this one strange was it happened about 2 o'clock in the afternoon and the diner area was pretty full. But Digger24 says. I saw two big fat naked bikers in the woods off 17 having sex how am I supposed to chip with that going on, dog? Kiss my what says. Went to a special screening of the 2019 Belgian movie Patrick. The movie is set in a naturist campground, so the cinema decided they would do a special screening where the audience would nude up. Bring a towel to sit on, find a seat, get your kid off, and watch the movie. Quite an interesting experience, to be in a full cinema with everyone tackle out. r slash ask reddit. Hot vegetable 3827 says. Which not so popular country is a must visit. Admit the tire prune says. Slovenia is absolutely gorgeous, at least in parts. It gets some tourists, but far fewer than similarly beautiful destinations. Cantral Axe Neveral Axe says. Bolivia. Amazing landscape, spotlessly clean, friendly people, and lots of fun, if you want a party. That was 10 years ago, I hope it's still as lovely, because it holds a special place in my heart. Legal Climate 4961 says. Romania, great architecture. I am in hospital says. Mongolia. Busy efficiency 8728 says. One of my friends recently visited Colombia, staying in Medellin. She went to a soccer game there, did a nice sightseeing tour, a very fun city. However, it is not very popular, because of the gangs, shootings, drugs, kidnapping slash human trafficking. Hasbuji says. Montenegro. Most people go to Croatia. But Montenegro is cheaper, and has very similar scenery. Creepy Willow 7535 says. Vietnam. Good nature. Amazing food. Thek Knight Stipler says. Malta. Delicious food, it's a sort of mix of Arabic and Italian influences. Lots of historical places like ancient ruins. The capital Valletta is beautiful, there's also two smaller islands Gozo and Camino, that you can visit. There's also extensive public transport, so it's easy to get around, if you don't drive. I can't recommend it enough, if you're the sort of person that's into exploring history, food, and culture. Canadian Maplesir up says. Bosnia, it's absolutely beautiful and such, and interesting place history wise. I'll also say Tanzania. Absolutely beautiful. Zanzibar has some of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen. 544,075,701 says. Paraguay is really cool. The history and culture of the capital city Asensin is really cool. Lots of wars with their neighboring countries over the years, at one point in their history like 90% of Paraguayan men were killed in wars. The social scene and food are also ridiculous, freshly grilled meats right from the asado with friends, is the stuff of legends. One of my favorite parts of Paraguay was staying, put obscenely late at a club with friends, and then eating Lomitus, this amazing sandwich in a bag you buy in a parking lot at 4 in the morning with about 50 other hungry drunk people. Plus it is cheap there. A new bar across town, costs literally like $2. A nice lunch for 2 will cost maybe 15 bucks. I got an hour long massage at a nice spa for 25 bucks. If you run a budget, Paraguay is the place to go. Laoquatius says. Laos. Shit for Sejris Liba says. I absolutely love Guatemala. If you can speak even a little bit of Spanish, I would 100% recommend it. Fly in, immediately leave Guatemala City, and set up your base in Antigua. Antigua and the surrounding areas can be a whole vacation alone. But there are also a bunch of cool places, that you could do with an overpass trip from Antigua. Miraza says. Kazakhstan. Stunning nature and landscapes, a unique cuisine, although not that rich in variety as in southeastern Asia, 
friendly people who are really generous to guests. Also, fascinating archaeological sites. Layla Lux says. Montenegro. Beautiful country and truly a hidden gem. Procrastinator, says. New Zealand. More Time 86 says. Pakistan amazing history and architecture spectacular and varied landscapes delicious cuisine cheap shopping vilified because of terrorism and difficult government officials. Bestrol 2618 says. Hungary. Successful Cry 8248 says. Croatia. Classic Sentence 3148 says. Sweden. SR 5060 Isle says. Bangladesh. BTW not really safe for solo female travelers. Bada 2020 says. Tunisia best country in Africa so far. Thorbergent says. Iceland. Vampira 309 says. Hungary. It's simply beautiful. Atlas Owl 36 says. Hungary. Arcadia 11 says. It's not not popular, but Austria definitely isn't a country that is on Americans' minds when they travel. We usually hear about and visit Switzerland when we want that mountainous scenery, but Austria has very similar natural beauty with better cities, better history, better culture, and better architecture, all for half the cost. Disaster Pleasant says. Somalia. Just avoid the sketchy areas. Le Circa Piclopa Hop says. Buzzfeed is going to write an article based on this post and you will spoil it. Afraid of Ballon 9641 says. I'm gonna go Albania. It has a really bad reputation, but the people there are very warm and honest. The beaches are incredible. The food is a really good blend of Balkan slash Greek slash Turkish slash Italian. It's super cheap and it has good weather. The only downside is that it lacks tourist infrastructure to get between the main cities. The buses can be really overcrowded and picking up random people on the side of the highway slash delivering chickens to random farms. SKB 725F says. Mongolia. Lego King says. Iraq was really nice, I went to both the Arabic part and the Kurdish part in 2022, and it felt super safe and welcoming. There were basically no other tourists other than our group. Food is super cheap there too. Mundane Situation 164 says. Not sure if you're open to Asian countries, if yes then you can try for Maldives or Malaysia. First of all they are safest. And will give you a different taste than Europe. Yankee Tango says. Slovenia and Slovakia are very nice. Poland too. OK Calligrapher 5776 says. I haven't been, but I feel like the Caucasus countries must be pretty underrated. Georgia, Armenia, and Azerbaijan. From pictures they look stunning, and I hear that Georgia has good food as well. Human Canvas 79 says. Curacao. I had an amazing vacation there in 2019, and it was much cheaper than the more well-known and visited Caribbean islands. Sharp Writing 4740 says. Albania. Tried before the massive exodus due to Instagram influencers. Jaha says. Jordan, Petra is easily the coolest thing I've ever seen. Pictures do not do it justice at all. You could fit elephants through the door of the treasury it's wild. Fife Flyer says. Turkey is amazing. Great food. R slash ask reddit. Hella Dynamite says. What's the greatest example of someone who was in the wrong place at the wrong time? Dev Shack says. I have been arrested for bank robbery twice. I have never robbed a bank, to be clear. Raven Crow says. Which is exactly what someone who did rob a bank would say. Hella Dynamite says. Elaborate if you would be so kind. Hella Dynamite says. 
I'm watching odds made in America and I nominate poor on Goldman. Bathroom in a 2036 says. Sadly true. Innocent Toto says. I have a friend who was messing with a married man. I cautioned her against it. Crime of passion is a real thing. So one day she is messing with him, in his house. They were in the second story. Wife comes back early from deployment. She is navy. This girl ended up trying to jump from the balcony to the trampoline below, landed badly and broke her ankle. She was lucky, because that wife had told the husband, if she ever catches him cheating she would shoot him. The whole broken ankle thing had paramedics there in 10 minutes, neighbors there, cops and Jude was told to leave the house. They got divorced later. What if they were asleep in bed? She has her own boyfriend, but actively seeks other women's husbands. It is not worth it. Sulio Ode says. Atsutomo Yamaguchi, who experienced both atomic bombs. He was on a business trip in Hiroshima, when it was bombed, then went home to Nagasaki, and was there, when it was bombed. Although he suffered from injuries and radiation poisoning he survived until age 93. As Canon 70 x says. I've heard stories, that people jumping from the World Trade Towers were landing on other people. Your 3 meters says. Since I assume people nearby would run away from the Twin Towers, when the first tower got hit, it means that the people that got smashed just managed to escape from the building itself. I can imagine that their last though was few. I'm safe. Marina Thurakound says. Among the worst things I saw on documentaries and reports, since 9 over 11, like watching it live on TV wasn't shocking enough, one was filmed with first responders just inside the ground floor of one of the towers. Even over all the other noise, there were occasional sounds like large bags of sand falling from a great height, and hitting the ground. Nobody really seemed to know what it was until someone looked out, and saw a person hit the ground. I'd always hope the people who jumped, were actually unconscious from the smoke, and fell, instead. Horrible when that's the best you could hope for. Federal Ad says. In my sophomore year of high school my older cousin was getting married. I'd originally talked my mum into letting me stay home that weekend instead of traveling the 7 hours to the event. I was going to go with some friends to a basketball game for something to do on Friday night. But on Thursday my mum decided I couldn't miss the wedding, and made me go with the family Friday after school. Friday night after we got to the hotel I got a phone call. My friends that I was going to ride with to the basketball game were in a bad car accident. Two died. It took years of survivor's guilt to get over that, because those two would have driven in a different car, if I'd been there. Unlucky Custard 8130 says. Franz Ferdinand. Dude got a Scottish rock band named after him. Barry41561 says. Wally Coyote. Any number of times. Boulders, trains, pianos, vehicles, you name it, he probably got killed by it at least once. Vasininsto says. Franz Ferdinand. Estredlumxx says. Walked in on my boss getting his noodle wet from one of my cowalkers under his desk. Reese 30 stupid says. Three of these caused the Watergate scandal. First of all, the guard who blew the lid on it. He had come around to do the rounds earlier and saw a door to a service stairwell with tape holding the latch open. Thinking a service worker had left it there by mistake, he removed the tape and closed the door and returned to do an earlier sweep than expected. When he saw the tape put on the door again, and knowing there was no maintenance that night, he called the cops, arresting five burglars breaking into the Democratic National Committee offices. Second was a sentry. Alfred Baldwin was meant to be watching out for trouble from the Howard Johnson's motor lodge across the street, meant to call in, if any cops suddenly showed up out of the blue. Unfortunately, he found Attack of the Puppet People was airing on TV during his lookout, and was too engrossed to realize the cops were arriving, until they had already surrounded the others. 
third was one of the burglars failing to do a minor task that was completely unrelated to the heist. Nixon accomplice and former CIA officer E. Howard Hunt asked one of the burglars to drop an envelope off in the mail, which he didn't do. When the burglars were arrested, this letter was seized. And was a check for a small tip he owed his country club. This tied the scandal directly to the president in the White House, and caused the biggest political scandal in the US. Care one he says. Richard Jewell. 1996 Olympics. Right timing was him finding the backpack. Wrong time as he had to defend himself from accusations he was the bomber. Dopey Tiger Ninja says. Accepting the gig as a last minute replacement oboe player for the Titanic Orchestra. Lucky Sorbet 1363 says. Years back, in Omaha, Nebraska a guy was riding a bicycle down the street, out of nowhere a huge tree limb fell and killed him. No winds, calm day. Illustrious Rule 591 says. My parents when I was made. Reese 30 Stupid says. The Horizon Post Office scandal was suddenly made worse due to one of these. It was big news when it happened, but just another random political scandal that would probably be forgotten by the press. Same old, same old. Then, a TV series, based on the scandal, was made by British TV channel ITV which had two major timing issues. First of all was the scheduling of when the drama series aired. It was expected, just to fill out the airwaves during a lull period, and be a simple drama series. But the lull period they chose, was the Christmas holidays, when most people were on holiday, still not expected to be big numbers, but it caught a lot of people's attentions. Then, around the period the series aired, a slew of new, and startling revelations into the widespread miscarriage of justice of thousands of innocent people came out, ranging from the fact, that the post office skipped the police, and pushed convictions they knew, were false through the courts, or how the post office's main investigators for these false convictions were incentivized to get convictions for financial bonuses. Establishing a clear bias. The scandal is still going strong 4 months, since the series aired, and isn't slowing down in the slightest. Also. A lot of the actors are incredibly famous in the UK, and when they read the script for the show, they were so outraged, that it became a passion project which they took reduced, pay to stretch out the budget as far as possible. Yorksks Babajiral says. I think one of the most famous examples might be Julius Caesar, who happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, when he was assassinated by his own senators. Katanoidao says. My brother was caught twice in different married woman's beds. He did not know they were married, I know that, because I was at the bar with him both times. He got beat the, frick, up the first time, and the second guy just filmed on his phone. 1968 full album says. Lowy Stephen Witt. Al Mahomi Slovenazis says. A guy at the base of the towers on 911. Alarming serve 2303 says. The people who were at work in the World Trade Center on the 9th of November 2001. Nalongthenis 9302 says. The guy cutting the lawn in Dallas 1963. Countemplus says. Harry and Dumb and Dumber. Sandwiclover7504 says. Archduke Franz Ferdinand, if you wrote it in a movie it would be over the top. Magain says. One day at my mom's workplace, a guy she worked with switched shifts with her. He told her that he wanted to switch because he planned on going somewhere for dinner that night with his wife. That night a group of guys came into the store, robbed the place, and murdered my mom. We would hear rumors over the years that he knew and had been threatened before by one of these murderers and that was why he didn't want to work that night. But nothing could ever be proven. R slash ask reddit. Singfx says. What's one thing you couldn't live without? Mega Killer Cakes says. Oxygen. Miranda CZ11 says. Right now. The internet. 
Gloria Ski Zero says. Music. Unrelated Gringo says. My kid. If they are ever removed from my life, I'm next. Tom Hirons 33 says. My dog, I have a cocker spaniel called Blue. He's the happiest most loving animal in the whole world, and having him has saved me in so many dark times in my life. No matter how hard life gets has they're wagging his tail and fat's priceless. Virilla Jatardigrade says. Being able to hydrate. Miss Kimber says. My husband. Every single thing that I want to share with someone, I want to share with him. He's the only person who doesn't drain my social battery, and the only one I really want to spend time with every day. He gives me a reason to want more for us than what I'm basically content with. Him and my dog, who goes without saying. That pup is the purest form of my heart, living outside my body. Greet Mr. Wu says. A sense of humor, life. Would be ass if we couldn't find a way to laugh. Princess Beer 122 says. My phone, I'd honestly be so bored I've come to depend on it. Cobalt Phantom says. Pets. It drove me crazy in college not having easy access to animals. I love the sense of responsibility and entertainment they bring. Helloy7 says. Well besides the essentials, oxygen, water, food, ECT. I think I could not live without work. Not like a 9 over 5 job, but just always have something to do, like garden or sport ECT. Stackhead Homiorks says. H2O. Titty Frick, 3R says. Water. Reddit understood it says. Clean water. Fleep says. My ability to think. Hathitha Aurora says. Water. Sanjid says. Coffee. Concentrate Act 1161 says. My own bed and pillows. I hate others. Last Significance 3680 says. My dogs. 22 Fluffer Squirrel says. My cats and my GPS. You'd never see me again without the GPS, as I have a terrible sense of direction. Sirius lit up it says. Electricity. Moon Jewel 90 says. Company with your loved ones. Mradevla says. Universal indoor plumbing. Nowzad says. My mother, she's a part of me, and without it I'm gone. Haitian says. Animals. Topak 365 says. My dick and balls. It would suck if I ever lost them. 500 days of a 3DD1 T says. My husband. Also, my antihistamines. Dylan2651 says. My PC. The day a dude 11 says. Personally, food. IQ420 says. Your mother's affection. Zio02 says. Without toilet paper. They're all Joe 12 says. Salt I love salt. Vivix Nrxie says. My vape. Jenist says. ATP. Worth Violinist 4734 says. My car. Ornery Relative 8052 says. To be valued. Raven 1975 says. Lovers. Midnight Crafter says. Sarcasm. It's my default language, and life would just be too bland without it. Columbia 84 user says. A bidet toilet seat. Oh god the difference it makes. Rattle 56 says. My pets. Jasmine Arida 27 says. My girlfriend, best friend and wife. To be I'd be lost without her. Joel Scout Sniper says. Insulin. Selrak says. Angels on earth, good people, performance arts, good health, basketball, warm weather. 
Spidergeral79 says. My cat. Beharek says. My lover. Geocutcher6907 says. Access to the internet. OK Independent6917 says. Sex, of course, but I was considering having sex with my rotation of girls. However, I'm already committed, so I've changed my mind about doing that for now. Far Garage 2970 says. Attention. Vegetable Custard 973 says. My Pookie. Diligent Schedule 39 says. Family. May Corbet says. Air, water, food, six. Mighty Malacca says. Opus. Glinda North says. My eyeglasses. Oddcut9231 says. Without brains? Although some manage to live. Inevitable Total 816 says. My hair. I may not be a success in life, but I manage to keep my hair, and at age 50, it's a plus for me. I'm in decent shape, full set of hair, and I see everyone losing this, it my only humble brag. Character Storage 97 says. My pets, mine espresso machine, and not necessarily on that order, JK. Monsterini or Serial says. Fields or large areas of undershade land, they help calm me down a lot. Nikita Sonoritas says. Tips. Karksamad says. Vinlafaxine. Sexy Little Milf says. My asthma inhaler. Edelin89 says. Coffee. No, sorry, let me rephrase that. Good coffee. Training Trick 8704 says. The correct balance of gases in the atmosphere. A birdie from hell says. In terms of elective things that I theoretically could do without, I wouldn't want to live without internet. I'm a fairly handy person, I'm good with tools, repairs, and I can fumble my way through most things. I'm also good at math, and honestly I consider myself quite a jack of all trades. But that's only because I thoroughly google things before I do it. I couldn't even change a tire without googling it first. But Paladesi says. Probably GPS my ad plus memorizing routes is difficult. I'd miss my turn and not know how to find my way home 100%. Muffin Important 7496 says. The op. Bikina Fetish says. Bona. Hypernova Orange says. D. Regular Seat 6801 says. My cats. Melisime 25 says. My music instruments. Automatic Gap 9121 says. My Bible. Few Ruin 742 says. My Squatty Potty is essential. Banana Vengeance says. Water. Pete 972 says. My mom. Vinny Lamb says. The internet. Mr. Piffy says. Music. Cat69XXX says. Music. Artist Ryoff Cordelia says. My mom and dad. Medium Right 3623 says. My kids. Dog74 says. Oxygen. Ivedranet for less says. Carver Enema. Brad Geddes says. Music. Athena Furry says. Sugar. Calicornicad says. Breakfast food. I'm convinced it's what turned me into a morning person. Lee Popostonat says. Drugs in general. I love cannabis, mushrooms, ketamine, and mad and so many more. They add an entirely new dimension to life. Thestrica says. Seriously, people don't understand the necessity of the internet nowadays. Things would take 10x as much, with more errors than it does now. 
getting places, learning about a thing or two, booking things on the go. Having just gotten back from a trip to Rome, it wouldn't be the same without it. r slash ask reddit. Vixen Starfire says. Crime scene cleaners of reddit, what's the hardest part about your job, physically or mentally? Siloam says. Frankly, the human body is very greasy. Especially the brain. Suicides by gunshot to the head are the worst, and the most difficult to clean up. Material goes everywhere. And the larger the caliber, the more the tissue is atomized and sprayed around. It takes a strong degreaser, lots of changes of hot water, and lots of attention, to detail to get it all. You don't want to get called back, because a family member found something you missed. Blue3Flaming0 says. Have you ever seen the aftermath of a shotgun inside a truck? We will be picking up a loved one's vehicle soon, and I'm really nervous about what we are in for. I have no idea what to expect. Siloam says. No, but it's probably the same as I described. The coroner doesn't take the little pieces, be prepared for that. And fluids soak deep into upholstery. And the windows won't be cleaned. It's hard enough to detail a normal vehicle, when it's just bits of junk food and dog hair. Torture Red AZ says. Not crime scene, but, I pick up after traumas in the trauma base sometimes. The numerous missed, call slash texts hit different. Or the iPhone alerts of looks, like you've been in a crash. Yara 1212 says. Don't worry, when I die I won't have any missed calls, so you can enjoy the rest of your day. Torture Red AZ says. But you will though. Muska Kagreen Thumb says. Where I live in Canada, we don't have crime scene cleaners. My close friend was murdered at another friend's of ours house. The op crime unit came in after the arrest, and did their investigation. But made my friend leave his house for two days, while they did it. When they were allowed to come home, his wife had to clean my friend's brains and blood off their stairs. I watched her do it. I always assumed the police would clean the murder scene up, after they were done investigating, but that's not how it works up here apparently. Sunflower Moon River says. Most countries have private companies that clean crime scenes or other hazardous scenes. It's never directly linked to the cops or anything. Judoka 229 says. Not a CS cleaner, but former military police, I threw away an otherwise good pair of boots when I was an MP because I found some hair and scalp wedged in the tread. We had responded to a gunshot in base housing, and because this happened on a nuke base, we had to treat it as potentially hostile. I was first through the door, and immediately got my rifle on a mid-30s male with an SKS, old school 7.62. Semi-auto rifle, like an AK. Right as I was about to begin issuing commands, to drop the weapon and all that, I realized that he was dead and half of his head was all over the room. Including a piece right under my boot. His wife had sent him pictures, videos, and nasty letters from her deployment in Iraq. She was cheating on him with everyone, and said she was divorcing, when she got home. So he shot himself. Chad Broadcock says. Obligatory not a crime scene cleaner, but, as a paramedic who has responded to multiple deaths and murders, I still think of some of their family members from time to time. I had one woman who had dropped dead in her bedroom on Mother's Day, and she was found by her son that morning. I remember the way he cried in the corner of their living room, he could hardly even look at us. I can only imagine his pain on that day, and the Mother's Days that followed. I responded to another call, where the deceased had clearly been beaten to death, and judging by her extensive and varied bruising, the abuse had been going on for a long time. When we walked through the front door, her husband was drinking Bacardi 151 on the couch at 7 in the morning. Their two daughters, a toddler and an infant, were on the couch with him. He was taken away by the police on scene shortly after. This was 10 years ago, and I still wonder from time to time what happened to those girls, and how they are doing now. 
Also the absolute squalor that some of these people live in is depressing. Someone's son or daughter lying face down, dead, in carpets mid with weeks of dried dog poop, and who knows what else. Heaps of dirty dishes stacked in the sink and mounds of trash on every available surface. A large box overflowing with dirty diapers in the corner of the room. An aquarium so full of algae, that it's a wonder the goldfish inside is still alive. It makes you wonder how they got there, what twists and turns in life, brought them to that point. Miliada Bride says. The first few weeks are the toughest. You basically had to, or at least I had to, become numb to the fact the stuff you're cleaning up was at one point a living breathing human with hopes and dreams and relationships and opinions on music and shit. It's like building up a callus. After a while all it is, is a mess for you to clean up. I've had to work to ensure I don't get so desensitized that I view everyone as future messes to clean up, but I've managed. There's one story that still sticks with me, though. Pulled up to what I'd been told was a murder-suicide, got told guy killed his pregnant wife then went downstairs to off himself. By this time I'd figured out knowing why was for psychologists and documentarians, of which I was neither. Guy had the nerve to meet his maker in the living room, and brains are never fun to get out of shag carpet. Go upstairs to clean up the other mess, open the door, and there are a bunch of people huddled around a very clearly alive pregnant woman. When the husband called 911 and said he'd shot his wife, he neglected to say he'd shot her through the door, and that she had somehow escaped with only injuries to her leg and back. Even her young one was still intact. Apparently I looked a sight, cause everyone turned to me, and the sweetest bloodiest pregnant woman I've ever seen asked me something that still sticks with me, why didn't you put a serious tag on this question? Otis says. Not crime scene, but a plumber who has been called to disconnect or inspect utilities after a suicide. The worst one was a fellow plumber. He was around my age and the way things just move on really hit hard. I had to verify the house wasn't flooding which meant walking through the house and checking the kitchen and bathrooms. He had a calendar with scheduled plans, dog training classes, etc. He was found with his dogs, so the police put a sticker on the door that stated they took them to the pound. He lived a whole life in this house, and as soon as he shot himself, the world just moved on as if he never existed. Super hard to see. Ecstatic Recipe 3019 says. Go take a look at r slash cremacine and let your imagination run wild. Saber1 says. The thing I hate about that reddit is they go for the shock value. At least combat footage is about war, these posters will pull social pictures of the victims and display their bodies in the next slide. Drownex says. Crime scene wouldn't be bad. The coroner is the tough part. I've helped and it can get pretty bad. Not on crime scenes, but many fatality scenes. Sunflower Moon River says. The Trauma Cleaner is a really great book I listened to, and it's a memoir. There was a passage that is really not for the faint of heart though, and does not have to do with her current occupation. St. Manoites says. I worked in a hospital for a few years and part of my job was to meet the police or funeral director who would bring the bodies into the morgue to be stored, often had suicides, some grim looking shit. Had a few people ask me how I could deal with seeing it. I just said that to me, it's all just meat, blood, bones, muscle, except this was a person who was no longer alive, I still treated that person with respect and dignity, saw some ordinary stuff, but they were still people to me. Hapisleth213 says. I had to use one of these services for a relative who died and was undiscovered for days, and I asked that exact question. The guy told me it was dealing with family members desperate to know if their loved one suffered or if it was quick. He always gave the same answer that from what he can see, they went quickly. Even when it's clear to him, it wasn't as pleasant and pain free as he's portraying. Pitifulju9217 says. I don't clean crime scenes, but I do have a toilet bowl. Must be brain spallator under the seat, how does it get there? 
Big Gun. R slash ask reddit. Spare concern 1336 says. What is the most desperate thing you have ever experienced? PM Nudes 418 says. One of my aunt's former boyfriends thought it a good idea to turn up uninvited to a family gathering, hoping she'd take him back. No Caterpillar 6354 says. Coming home to an empty house after 14 years of marriage and 4 kids. Forsakenad2945 says. Me trying to get laid. Agreeablefoot5897 says. Not that bad, but a guy doing backflips in a nightclub to try and impress a girl. Mods ruining Reddit says. Drug addiction. Literally drank my own vomit one time, because I couldn't hold my dose down. Goddess Viking 86 says. An ex who stalked me, after I dumped them, and I was with someone new. The ex had a hard time letting me go. Fire the editor says. Being jobless and broke, and going to a hotel to eat free breakfast. Going to Fry's grocery store, and pretending to shop, while I ate food. Able Badger 1713 says. I'm a victim of CSA, trying to get the other boys, to discover the camera my abuser hid, without me outing myself as a victim was desperate each time, cause back then I'd be seen as gay, even though I wasn't a willing participant, if the kids knew what he was doing to me. When I saw the times he'd hidden the camera I'd try and get the other boys to climb up, and find the camera where the ceiling tile was moved. No one would listen to me. It was literally decades before I looked at it from an adult point of view and realized I could have just grabbed the camera myself and taken it to the police. But I was terrified of being called gay. He was caught a few years later after leaving the camera on a bench by accident and the person who found it saw his footage. He had 400 VHS tapes. A few years ago I saw a Facebook post where someone had photographed him in a park as an old man. All the comments from the lads back in school, now man making horrendous jokes about abuse. It was pretty grim reading. Kirik Tarantalope 135 says. My dog when I'm boiling water on the stove, and he thinks it's food. Kanakano says. Trying to survive suicidal thoughts and still keep it all to myself so not to burden anyone. Krita Thiskim says. Random dude showed up at my door asking for $10 for gas after dark. The curtains were open and my 11 year old daughter was sitting in the dining room working on an art project. I gave him $10, so he would leave. I give it 50 over 50 odds he was hoping I wasn't home. Odd brain says. Being out of weed, and money and feeling like a dummy having an absolute meltdown. Just over wanting to be stoned. Improverment for 5054 says. A woman I broke up with moved into an apartment right across the street from me and could see into my apartment. I had to move out under cover of darkness in the wee hours of the morning. Sue Fion H says. Loneliness. Melon Naughty says. Creating Reddit account. Unburita Porfava says. I woke up extremely hungry one morning after a night of binge drinking, but there was no food at home. All I could find was a bag of stale doggy biscuits. I ate them all. Tressa Sparrow says. I once pretended to be sick to get out of a test. Ended up in the hospital. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Bustka says. People in workplace f***ing their way to the top. Ok Acanthacita5022 says. My ex-husband once I started dating again lol. Scootermptita69 says. When I was in the depths of my alcoholism taking my kids Easter money to buy beer, because I didn't want my then wife to see the transaction on my card. Calmbid2762 says. I wrote a one year anniversary letter to my husband. Also, I don't have a husband. Previous ad 7725 says. 
I live in upstate New York and I went an entire winter W slash O a furnace, because I was scammed. Ella Teslaka says. I choked on a piece of food at a restaurant. Longest 45 seconds of my life realizing I can't breathe, and I just might die eating a goddamn bloomin' onion. What a way to go. Alord Heckerman says. Someone I know was, might still be, IDK, paying 20 a week for Tinder. Tifaniamba272 says. Looking for money for alcohol or kratom, FYI I'm sober. Rudine for me 3871 says. The moment my first love broke up with me. Ambitious scientist says. An older mean kid tried to bully me, but my father saw it, and decided to bully him back, destroying him with words. At first the bully kid was rude, but eventually my dad had the kid kneeling down at his feet, weeping tears and begging for mercy. And my father was just like no each time, and carried on destroying him. This was in front of many other kids, who laughed at him, and their parents. Some other parents tried to intervene and tell my father to stop, and that the kid had learned his lesson, but my father had none of it, and told them to stfu, because they stayed silent, while he had been picking on me. He then carried on destroying that kid. I felt so much secondhand embarrassment, but was also proud, and amazed at what my father was capable of, when he saw his kids in distress. 16th December 2006. I went home that day, and opened my advent calendar on that date, and vowed to always remember the day lol. Necessary Childhood 93 says. I came home one day, to find my wife talking to her ex-girlfriend in our living room, who I had a 2 year FWB sport frick relationship. Had not seen her in 4 years and bam, there she is. Autistic Not Self or says. Seeing women pouring their hearts out for guys that don't care about them. R slash ask reddit. Simple egg 175 says. What's something that's considered attractive? Thesis in therapist says. Magnets. Solid work 3654 says. Apparently, it's all about having eyebrows, that could double as caterpillars, a jawline sharp enough to slice bread, and a smile so dazzling it could blind a unicorn. Frawotis Goingen says. A sense of humor. Conferencer Sudden 8138 says. Confident individuals are highly attractive, because they exude a sense of self-assurance and capability, yet this should not be confused with arrogance, which can be off-putting. Sylvian Bian says. True kindness. I need blinker fluid says. Punctuality. Carara 1107 says. On a woman, ass. Q next day says. Big batty is up there. She could have a 0 tenths face, if her back is 10 tenths. Jib 2 says. Symmetry. Ghost Girl 3333 says. Vini forearms, thick eyebrows. Interesting Benus 9675 says. Large breast diseases. Quantums Enigma says. IDK but I like hands, curiosity, gentleness, and lameness. Extra points if you like tea. OK Bed 3942 says. The way she looks at you. Fatina Guina 3 says. Security. A lot of people like when someone can provide safety and security. This Chancel Ascent says. Work ethic and ambition. Old Classic 2142 says. Money, apparently. I don't have any. Always Groovy says. Confident sense of humor. Icefneed Shelp says. Short nails. Bob Inc. says. Money and power, and I've got plenty of both, and you know it. Hopav says. Big ellipse on women, big biceps on guys. No understanding 5677 says. Not me. Secured Star says. 
having the personality of a golden retriever. Savings impressed 2248 says. A symmetrical face. Who our veteran says. You. G Arbitrage says. Camel toes. Thesis Briticulio says. Genuine confidence. Affectionate of an 877 says. Long eyelashes. Meekel says. Your mother. Bananeo Adfuindao says. A zillion dollars. Shadow Abyss 777 says. Humbleness. OK Figure 1227 says. Intelligence. Elder 2 says. The Higgs boson. I don't now doy out now says. Electromagnetism. It's Mathesine Sekid says. Intelligence. Time Ensign Sapastine says. WTF is your question? Charlie My Love Best 5 says. A good girl, from a good home. Sphinus says. Pearls. Superb at 8247 says. Glasses slash intelligence I don't care, as long as they're slightly cute, but wear glasses or they're smart I need them in my life, because being the smartest person in my group kinda gets boring at times. MX Sagaro says. Left handed PPL for some odd reason are hard to me. Ruthless put 11 says. Strong cheekbones. Imaginary beat 8400 says. Positive personality. A knee 888 says. Pretty hands. Adaro wow says. Black holes. One poor decision marker says. Being intelligent. As long as it's not used to be condescending. Striking Mulberry 622 says. Physically on a man, I enjoy hands. Vini ones especially. Kinda basic but honest. Personality wise, a gentle old soul with a sense of humor edit bc I can't type lol. Outside painting 9892 says. Empathy, respect, and kindness. Murky birthday 3145 says. Women with an opinion. Pokemon Bull says. Being healthy. Marriage 966 says. Curls that are good cared for and not the ones that look like there is no effort out into at all. Own Beautiful 1383 says. If you read. Bing Bang Brit says. Big muscles, a big cock, big boobs, wide hips ergo big butt. Forsaken Hearing 8629 says. Can I ask here is there a polite way to compliment a conventionally unattractive person? Like I'm into everything about them, but is there a better way to say you're hot BC you don't look like anyone else I've ever met? Without it sounding like underhanded slash backwards compliment. My land is me land 89 says. Women's underwear. Fumigaza says. Holes of the black variety. Penna Jetsfield says. It's all about chemistry and vibes. Dazzling Instance 5178 says. When they play fight and flirt as their personality. Material P1820 says. Extremely large pages. Nukan D says. Mid guy who managed to convince an absolute babe to marry me checking in. Make her laugh guys. I adore my wife's laugh, I go out of my way, to get one out of her every day. Cutelib Bell says. Beautiful eyes. Injmu Faki says. Talking many languages fluently. Kaylee Babe says. Having confidence, but know when to take a step back. TJW1963 says. Nature, the earth. TJW1963 says. Nature, outdoors, outside, natural beauty. Flat Dare 2571 says. Cheekbones and a jawline. Gogo Moore says. 
I think if I find someone a good conversationalist, if that's a word, that can be a great asset. If they are enthusiastic and curious about the person they are talking to, i.e. a great personality is the most attractive. Especially as you get older. Lemonade 917 says. Money. No pickle 8750 says. Me. Reg 45 says. Confidence. Unapproved reindeer says. Large penises, daddy energy. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.